All right, good morning and welcome back. Today we're going to be um, taking our last look at parallel lines and transversals. Okay, this is going to be part three. Well, excuse me, parallel lines and angles, part three. But more specifically, the angles that are created by these parallel lines are due to a transversal. So either way, part three is going to be numbers nine through 11. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. Now, if you notice, one thing that all three of these examples have in common is that there are two variables, okay? And specifically, instructions tell us to solve for variables X and Y. Now, in math, anytime you have more than one variable that you have to solve for, you should um, do your best to set up an equation between your like variable. So in this case, the variable that is outnum that outnumbers everything else is the X. So I'll need to identify what those two, what the relationship is between those two angles. And if I do my shading properly, let's see here, let me use green, which means that the two X spaces technically should be white, okay? But either way, they are the X values, okay? The X variable, both of the expressions are, these are alternate interior angles, okay? Alternate, uh, alternate exterior, not alternate interior, alternate exterior angles, which means that they are congruent, okay? So with that being said, we're going to actually set these equal to each other to solve for x. 10x minus 17 equals 8x plus 1. Now, to solve for the y variable, we need to figure out the relationship that y has with one of the other angles. So I'm gonna choose the, I'm gonna look at the relationship that these two angles have with each other. Now, based on the shading, okay? Based on the shading, the y variable is shaded green and the x variable is unshaded. With that, with that scheme, this makes them supplementary, okay? And more specifically, they're a linear pair. So the Y variables are what we're gonna call a linear pair. And we could say that they're supplementary, okay? Which means that they just add to equal 180 degrees. So when we write this equation, this equation is gonna be written as 6Y plus 29 plus 8X plus one equals 180. Now, we see here that in order to really solve for y, we need to know what x is. So we do have to go back to our x variables and go ahead and solve this equation. Subtract 8x from both sides. That's gonna give us 2x minus 17 equals one. Then we're gonna add 17 to both sides. That's going to make 2x is equal to 18. And to solve for x, we're going to divide everything by 2. x is going to be equal to 9. Now that we know what x is, we can go ahead and fill, plug that into our equation. So our y variable equation, that's going to be 6y plus 29 plus 8 times 9 plus 1 equals 180. And now we have to solve, um, simplify all of that. So that's gonna be 6y plus 29 plus 72 plus one equals 180. 29 and one make 30, 30 plus 72 make 102. So that really is gonna become 6y plus 102 equals 180. Um, we're going to have to subtract, and I didn't put my line here. Let's put our little line here, okay? We're going to have to subtract 102 from both sides. So if I do 102 on both sides, that's going to leave me with 6y is equal to 78. And then that last step is to divide both sides by 6. 
and y is equal to 13. So y equals 13, and that'll conclude number nine, all right? Let's take a look at number 10. Let's erase this because I don't want that stuff in the way. Number 10. Once again, we're going to go through the same process. I'm going to draw my circles here. Let's do the circles. All right, if I do my shading properly, I'm going to shade that one and that one. I didn't do that right. I don't like how those came out. So let's see here. I'm going to shade these two, so then I have to shade the two down here. The same pattern. Now, if they're the same color, they're congruent. If they're two different colors, they're supplementary. If we look at our two X variables, which are right here, they're both in unshaded regions. So for our X variable for number 10, their relationship is congruent. They are corresponding angles, okay? Corresponding angles, which are congruent. So our equation here for the x's is going to say 7x minus 30 equals 5x plus 14. And then we would simply solve for x, okay? Now, for the y variable, once again, we got to figure out that relationship with one of the terms. And for the sake of this one, I'm going to look at these two right here. Okay, the 3y plus 11 and 7x minus 30. Those two angles are supplementary. Once again, they are a linear pair. So if I use that, those two would add to equal 180, which means that uh, 7x minus 30 plus... 3y plus 11 equals 180. And then we would have to solve for y, but we have to know what x is. So let's go ahead and solve for x. We gotta subtract 5x from both sides. And that's gonna give us 2x minus 30 equals 14. And then we're gonna add 30 to both sides. That's going to give us 2x is equal to 44. And then the last step is to divide both sides by 2. And that makes x equal to 22. Now that we know that x is equal to 22, we can go ahead and plug that into our equation here. So that's going to read 7 times 22 minus 30 plus 3y plus 11 equals 180 okay and let's keep our line there let's make that 180 look like a 180 and now 7 times 22 oops let's do that 7 times 20 uh, sorry 7 times 20 is 140, and 7 times 2 is 14. We add those together, that's 154. So we have 154 minus 30 plus 3y plus 11 equals 180. Now, if we do 154 minus 30, that's 124, and 124 plus 11, 124 plus 11 makes 135. So we're going to have 3y plus 135 equals 180. And then from here, we're going to subtract 135 from both sides. When we do that, that's going to give us... 3y equals 45 and then our last step is to divide both sides by 3 which makes y equal to 15 final answer okay and that will be the concluding number 10 
let's see right this erase this and take a look at number 11 that's gonna finish us off for the day so last but not least number 11 once again we need to start by identifying the relationship between our x variables because we have more x's than y's so if i do this properly i'm gonna shade vertical angles and then i'm gonna shade the same um, pair of vertical angles in the top circle now when i look at my two x variables they're two different colors which means that they're supplementary their relationship here is specifically they are consecutive interior angles consecutive interior angles which means that they add to equal 180 so when we write our equation up we're going to say 23x minus 16 plus 8x minus 21 equals 180 and then we're going to solve for x okay now uh, for the y variable For the y variable, I'm going to use the relationship that these two right here have. The 23x minus 16 and the 7y minus 23. Those two are vertical angles. So with that being said, vertical angles are congruent vertical angles. And vertical angles are congruent so that means that we're gonna have 7y minus 23 is equal to 23 X minus 16 and once we figure out what X is we can solve for Y okay so let's solve for X first when we combine our X when we combine our X values 23 X and 8x that makes 31x and when we do negative 16 and negative 21 that becomes negative 37 all right all right so now that we have that step done we have 31x minus 37 equals 180 now we're going to have to add 37 to both sides so when we do that we're going to add 37 Add 37 to both sides. That's going to give us 31x equals 217. And then we're going to divide both, both sides by 31. So divide that. And what is x going to be equal to? x is equal to 217 divided by 31. That's 7. So our final answer is seven for X. And now that we know that X is seven, we can go over to our other equation and just plug that in. So we're gonna have seven Y minus 23 equals 23 times seven minus 16. Now 23 times seven is 161. So that's gonna be seven Y minus 23 equals 161 minus 16 and when we subtract 161 and 16 we get 145 so we get 7y minus 23 equals 145 and we're going to add 40 add 23 to both sides so when we do that that's going to give us that's going to give us 168 and then our last step is to divide both sides by 7. So X is equal to, oh, excuse me, Y is equal to 24. And that will be our final answer. See you all later.